Okay, we're going to teach you how to use the HD DVR with DirecTV. So here's our HD DVR, and if we flip open the door to the right, there's a quick reset button, and the smart card's in there. And on the front panel, there's a resolution, 480, 720, 1080. If you have HD set, which you probably do with this box, you want to make sure you're on 1080. And then here is our remote. They're all the same, and I usually put a label, like this one says office, so we know it belongs out here. So when we do the volume, um, we can, it's programmed to the TV, so it uh, controls the volume on the TV. The on and off will turn both the receiver and the TV on and off. And if I just push a number, like 2, it'll take me to 2, or 12, or 606. So it'll just take me to those channels, just punching the numbers. I can channel up and channel down with this channel. So there's speed channel on 607. Um, I can volume up or down with this. Here's mute and here's previous. Go back between the last two. And then up here are our DVR buttons. So I can pause live TV with this button here. And then play this button, skip forward, skip back, rewind, fast forward. The more times you hit them, the faster they go. And currently we're going to be able to, we've paused it, so that's how much time we have. So if I hit play, it resumes. I can skip forward, and every time I hit the button, I'll skip back. So I can skip forward, so when I hit a commercial I'm going to skip forward like five times and then uh, actually I'll go like ten times and then when I want it we'll do that again so you can see. So I hit a commercial so I'll hit this like six times then I'll hit play when I want it to stop. So then I can record by just pushing this button when I do that I can change channels because it's a dual tuner box, meaning you can watch one thing live and record something else. Or record two things at any time you want during the same period of time and watch anything else off the hard drive or watch what you're recording. So the other, the other way to find a channel is to hit the guide button. So I've hit the guide. Now we're in the guide, we've got video and sound, we've got the info screen, and we can arrow up or arrow down through the guide when we find one we want to go to. Hit select and it takes us there. We can go to the right and see what's on later, or to the left and go back to where we started, 1 p.m. On the bottom you see the green and the, the red dots, so on the bottom of the remote there's always a bunch of Every screen that you go to in the guide will have different functions for these buttons. So in the guide, the, the green button goes ahead in 12 hour increments. And the red button goes back in 12 hour increments, which is handy if you push 2, it'll take you to 2 in the guide. So we know what we're looking for is on channel 2 and we think it's about 6 o'clock. We hit the green button twice, there's Thursday, twice more, there's Friday. So I can hit the red and go all the way back to where, where we started. Arrow down, hit select, and we'll go there. Um, the next button over is the active button. So the active button is going to show you weather. It's going to show you the most popular shows in the Pacific Northwest, nationally, movies and sports. Give you a quick five-day forecast. It'll give you horoscopes, and there it all is. So it looks like we got some sunshine, no rain, looking good. Um, if we hit exit, it'll take whatever's on the screen off. And like I said, you can record by hitting the record button. The other way is to go to the guide. Let's go to something that's not on yet. Like days of our lives, there's a must have. Hit select, and then it'll bring up this. So we're, we record series, or record once. So I want to record the series, and it'll bring up this. First runs, episodes, disc is full, start and stop time. So episode type, meaning first runs, or if I hit select and go down, I can get just repeats or both first runs and repeats. 
I want just first runs, and I want to keep more than five episodes. Matter of fact, I want it all. So it'll keep them until disk is full, which means the old things roll off as you record new things, or you can say, keep it until I delete it, which then essentially protects it. So I don't usually do that because I watch a lot of TV, and if I don't watch it before it rolls off, then I, I'm not watching enough TV. So I can start it three minutes early. I'm going to end it four minutes late. I can stop it as much as three hours late. Good for rain delays on NASCAR. So if I go over to record series and hit select on that, it will record all new episodes of Days of Our Lives. I'm not going to do that. And then exit out of there. So I've turned the volume down so you can hear me. But um, the next button is list. So any of our recordings are going to be in here. So here's Young and the Restless and Cars and Grandkid comes over, we gotta gotta be watching the cars, hit select and play, and there we go. So that's how you find your recordings. A couple of the things in here were pending download, that's in the on-demand verb. So if we go back in here, like uh, the American Pickers, I found that in the on-demand library a bit ago, and it's pending download, as well as intro to Smart Search and uh, days of summer, so I was curious what those were, and a DVR scheduler, a how-to video. So those are all in the on-demand library, and right now, because I clicked on them, they're going to download when, when uh, the DVR has time. And then I can watch them from the DVR anytime I want. So in the DVR, so like here's Delete, DirecTV Cinema, and Options. So if you hit the yellow button, it brings up options on how to folder these, change playlists, do different things in your DVR program, um, and DirecTV Cinemas, that on-demand uh, category. So here we are in the cinema, just added what's on now uh, in theaters and all. So some of these things are pay-per-view and some of the things in this on-demand uh, forum are, are free. All of these are pay-per-view items, indicated by the big dollar sign. So if you clicked on one, it'd tell you how much. So we could get that for $3.99. I'm going to hit exit, which puts me out of there. And if I go down to menu, I got Cinema Plus, Smart Search, Manage My Recordings. So I'm going to manage my recordings. I have a to-do list, my series manager, and I can look at history. So if I hit my, I have 28 items in my to-do list, and my series manager, if I go to that, it'll have all of my series. Biggest Loser, House, Sons of Anarchy, uh, Detroit, Mentalist, all of those, and it shows me how many of these items. So these guys are off series, so there's nothing come in there. But you can look at all your series and you can Ultimate Fighter, got nothing. Um, and then to the to-do list, here's what's going to record and it's set to record on what what time. So I hit exit, that kind of shows you where, where your recordings are going to happen and what you can expect to have in there to watch. If you go to Cinema Plus, we can go to new movies. This is the on-demand thing again. Um, for all movies or showroom. So when you click on that, just add it all. So here's some of the things I, I did. So if you hit select on that, they'll record to the DVR and you can watch them whenever you, you wanted. And there's a back button right here. So I want to go back and I want to go to all movies and shows. So I can click all or kids or comedy or whatever. So this one doesn't have a dollar sign, so I hit select and record, and it'll set it up to record to the playlist. So now if I go to the list button, that's pending download. So it'll download over the internet. To do the on-demand, you have to be hooked to, to the internet. And if I um, 
hit the back button, it'll take me out of whatever I'm in. And again, 